Yo, yo, what is up guys, this is the man in the can, the Super Pig Man here today with another video and today we're going to be doing a top 5 on the Kenshi bounties from weakest to strongest and before we get started make sure to you guys subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you can be notified every time I upload and I also have a discord and I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can join but without further ado let's get into this video so the first one i'm going to talk about is tora the gutless she is the leader of the band of bones and she is a 10,000 cat uh bounty tora is one of the first bounties that you and your group can go and get actually it is a fairly easy bounty to capture the main thing is being that they don't have a base and since they don't have a base you don't have to worry that much you can just pretty much run up in there and just do it um, a lot of other of these bounties have bases and make it even harder to get because like you know You ha kind of have to clear out every single thing or they get a they have an alarm and the alarm goes off and they're all around you so But Tora and her gang aren't much of formidable foes. They they're pretty they're pretty weak not gonna lie most of them being in between the 20 to 40 stats with Tora being in the 40s range there is a couple of ways to do this the first is to get a fast running fast runner and pick her up when she sleeps and run all the way to way station the guards will fight fight her gang off while you keep running this is kind of like a cheesy way to do it or a whack way to do it in my opinion like if you're not really doing anything there the other two ways is that you can sneak in if that's more your play style so if you're playing more of a sneaky character like a shinobi thief thieves play style or something like that i don't know like a lot of people play this game really differently and you're doing that you can actually assassinate everyone and then have your party fight her when she's the last one or you could just run up there and swing to kill which really wouldn't be that hard and that is tour the gutless so at number four we got simeon the leader of the rebel farmers and he is a 20,000 cat uh pretty much a 20,000 cat bounty simeon is one of the harder bounties to get because it 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 i mean it is totally worth it once you get it you know but the reason his bounty is hard is because their base is in an area where cannibals spawn so not only will there be their patrols of rebel farmers that will kind of harass you until you get there but there will also be patrols of cannibals which can which can just really just be a nuisance even though they're not that strong they just still wear your guys down after a while then there's the fact that they do have a base good thing is their doors are always open though but their camp is infested with a ton of rebel farmers they aren't strong but in numbers they really are there are his captains you have to fight too they have high stats ranging from 80 plus and after all that you still have to knock out and knock out or kill simeon then transport him back um i mean his captains are probably the only people you're really gonna have struggles with it's it's not really like a close second you know like his captains are going to be the huge struggle because there's a bunch of them and i mean killing simeon is pretty easy it's just that his captains are pretty hard to get through and simeon isn't a weak foe either he has uh 90 stats um this is i mean there, there's really only one way to do this and it's to go in there swinging unless you can actually get the stealth at, to go up to the gate guard knock him out or something and then do all that and that's if they aren't hostile to you hopefully you don't lose any characters this is more of a mid to late game bounty tora is more of an early game bounty so you know you this one's like more mid to late game type of you know bounty and at number three spot this one is uh <laughs> this one is pretty difficult in my opinion uh Saviant, the sk leader of the skin bandits is a so I know you guys are probably enjoying this video and being like, wow, this is such a great video. But don't forget to subscribe and also join my Discord, which I'll have a link in the description where we can talk about everything. We can talk about the Outer Worlds, we can talk about other videos, we can talk about anything. So make sure you guys do that. But anyways, back to the video. $50,000 cat, uh, cat bounty. And Savian is a huge pain in the ass to get. Let's first talk about the terrain to get to the Savian. You need acid protection armor. And if you're lucky, you won't get caught in the rain, but it rains almost constantly. Like, there's it's only always raining, and not so at and to add on top of that, acid protection armor isn't really the best, in my opinion. It, it really just it, it hurts you, and it's like you're a lot weaker when you wear it. Well, at least when my guys have worn it, and it's you know, it's been at high grade, so it's not the grade, you know, and then. Let's talk about the abundance of skeletons and human skin uniforms. Not only do they look disgusting, but they are also very strong. 
but there's also a lot of them. They have like about, I'd say three houses, three to four houses in their encampment and it's all filled with skin bandits. And there's also like skin bandits on the way over there. So not only are you walking in acid rain, probably with acid protection. And if you don't have any acid protection, well, then you're slowly getting killed. But then you also run into skin bandits and they'll lower, your, lower you guys down. And it's just, it, it's really hard to get there. But once you get there, you know, you can pretty much just wipe them out. But it's not going to be that easy. And finally, the Savian ain't no weak foe or his gang either. They wear specialist gear. And it's kind of weird to think that human skin is specialist gear. And the Savian has a May 2 weapon made by Cross. So, Savian, ha Savian has one of, uh, like, you know, a rare weapon at the highest completion tier that you can have it. Savian also has 75 stats down the board, so not that much an easy guy, but he's a lot easier than, you know, Simeon, for example. This bounty is really more late game. Don't try this if you don't have that good of a party. It's not something you really go and do. Uh, but without further ado, let's get to the number two spot. And the number two spot, I have Bugmaster. This guy is a whole feat to get. Let's just talk about pretty much all the skin spiders you have to get through that he has at his disposal. Like, sometimes you'll just be walking, and out of nowhere, like, a horde of ten spiders just come up to your party and start hitting you. And these spiders aren't that hard, like, to do anything. Just, just by the time you get to his base, they'll leave your guys weak. These spiders also kind of do pack a punch, but not really, but are easy to kill. And they're outnumbered 50, they outnumber you 50 to 1 when you're fighting them. When you get finally get it caught in an engagement, they're outnumbering you 50 to 1. And getting overrun is almost inevitable, pretty much. Like, you're gonna get overrun by <laughs> skin spiders. But once you get to his base, he's quite easy to beat up. Just rush him. The only hard part is all the spiders on the first floor, which are blood spiders. So those actually hit a lot harder for some reason. But the only loot... You can get it as a map to an ominous place. This bounty can be done, and it's more of an end game. Your characters have to be able to handle a little bit of a punch. And wh when I mean a little bit of a punch, I mean like a lot of a little bit of a punches, which are going to add up in the end. And it's just, it's, it's a hard thing to do. So, number one spot, it's not really a bounty, so I don't know if it counts. It's going to be Catlon. I mean, he's not really a bounty, but he he's pretty much like a boss. Like a lot of these bounties, bounties are kind of bosses in a, a essence. And you know, he has a lot of enemies, so I'm pretty sure you can just go and deliver him somewhere, and he'll you'll get money for it. And he's not even that bad of a trophy to get. But the thing is, is that he has a, about 120 thralls waiting for you when you go and get him. And they're all pretty good at fighting, but are beatable. The only problem is being overrun. You know, like, if you take a party of 25, you're gonna... Like, you pretty much need to have a mod installed if you want to take a bigger party. And... Cat also, there's the fact that Catlon is the strongest character in the game. And he's one of the hardest people to capture. He is more of... He's, like, like I said earlier, he's more of a nice trophy to have. He's not really a bounty, I guess you would say. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can turn him into the Holy Nation for some money. And they'll, like, be eternally grateful to you. And, yeah, so that's pretty much the list. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I am going to make a channel update type of thing. Because I feel like I've been uploading consistently. And you guys probably have a lot of questions. And I could probably answer them there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Peace.